practice with the drone here. I've never driven one of these before. It's funny because you want to fly it just like a drone. It's got these propellers here and then one up top here. And this one up top actually keeps it to go down because if it's on the surface it doesn't go as well. And uh, a lot of fun people here. You control it with one joystick going right and up and down and then you can turn on lights so you can deep water dive and see what you're doing. But it films in 4K. This guy. 4K. So Nelly and I love to be equipped with anything that we can get to show you guys the adventures that we go on. I'm not the best deep water swimmer yet. So this is nice because it actually, I can just be chilling and this will get the whole site for me. Fishermen use it and adventurous. It is actually confusing learning how to drive and it's a little trippy because I fly a drone a lot and it's a little different. It can haul underwater. You can turn it on low speed too. It's gonna be way sweet. We're getting a boat to go over one of the dopest bodies of water here to get some of the dopest shots. Jack just walked into the pool. Oh. <laughs> ready check it out power vision power ray you connect this cable to it and it's like a hundred feet long of cable I, know, I see some scuba divers I saw some fish down there there's some underwater museum I guess <laughs> just happen to be on so I wondered why the, if there was any possibility to have no cable you gotta have it because you can't have such a strong signal to go that deep and this thing can go super deep this you literally can just chill up here and control this drone underwater it's going underwater. Hey guys, I realized while editing this video that you don't know the backstory of what happened. So first, there was Dan and he asked, hey Bryce, can I use your GoPro? And then I said, sure, yeah, what do you need? And he said, I wanna to talk to it for my video. So I said, cool, let me take it out of its case so the audio will be better. And that's when I dropped the GoPro. And I tried finding it, couldn't find the GoPro. Dan's laughing and then I started laughing and I realized it's gone. I'm just, we're gonna lose all the footage that I got and just gotta move on. Just for good measure, I prayed actually that I could find it and literally, right after praying, I looked down and it just glistened with the sunlight coming through the ocean. The sad thing is, I wasn't recording when I dropped the GoPro, which would have been so cool to see. It fell in between all those statues at the bottom that you just saw. Now we were already a little frustrated with this boat. They only said we had 40 minutes to go out there and half of that time they spent meeting up with another boat to give them coronas okay now you have 20 minutes left in that one location we needed more time to film so one of the guys on the boat actually dove down to get it So that was rad. Super thankful to that guy for getting the GoPro for me. Didn't have to do that at all. And I didn't have to tell Nelly that I lost the GoPro. You know? As thankful as I was, we were still frustrated because we didn't get the footage that we needed. And that was the whole reason that we came to Cancun. What you're about to see is day two. A totally different crew. It was actually called Nemo. They were awesome. They let us have as much time as we wanted. They took us right to the spot. No hiccups. Except... Oh no. Policía, it's porque tenemos drogas en el bote. The police let us go as long as we wore the life jackets and Dan promised he would shout them out. So, yep, it's coming. It's going to be a one video dedicated just to the maritime police of Cancun. <laughs> 
So this is awesome. The drone, like, it's so no, no, unreal. No, no, over here, over here. What's right. that? This way, this way. Oh, over here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. This is seriously unreal. Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it.